Over 350 million years ago, dragonflies first started to zip around ponds, marshes, and other bodies of water. This prehistoric insect belongs to the Odonata family, along with their closely related cousin insects, damselflies. There are over 3,000 known dragonfly species living on nearly every continent in the world. Here we're going to explore awesome facts about dragonflies that you probably didn't know. The Odonata family of insects only has two main species, the dragonfly and damselfly. Most people will confuse the two at first glance, as they are very similar in appearance as a whole. The key to identifying them is in their wings. A dragonfly has four wings, while a damselfly only has two. When a dragonfly rests, they spread their wings out horizontally, whereas damselflies tuck their wings in against their bodies. Another indicator is their eyes. All damselflies' eyes are separated, while most dragonflies' eyes are together. If you were to go back about 300 million years ago, you'd likely come face to face with the ancestors of dragonflies, Meganosoptera. This long extinct relation of the dragonfly lived from 323 million to 250 million years before Christ during the Paleozoic era. The vast majority of griffin flies were a similar size to their modern cousins. However, one species called the Megatypus would most likely scare the living daylight out of you if you were to encounter it. The clue is in the name, as the Megatypus grew to an alarming size, with a wingspan up to 28 inches. Different species of dragonflies can be found in almost every corner of the world. Most of them tend to stay within one select area, but there are a few which are a little more widespread. The Emperor Anax, for example, can be found throughout the Americas, from the southernmost tip of Argentina all the way up to Newfoundland in Canada. More impressive, though, is the globe skimmer dragonfly, which can be found in the warmer regions of every continent in the world, except Antarctica. The biological term for invertebrate insects during the stage in which they go through the process of metamorphosis is nymphs. Some examples of such insects are grasshoppers, cicadas, and dragonflies. Referring to dragonfly larvae as nymphs are particularly fitting, though. In mythology, a nymph is a type of spirit that lives in rivers, streams, and other such areas. Just like their mythological counterparts, dragonfly nymphs live underwater. Adult dragonflies lay their eggs in the tissue of aquatic plants or on the surface of the water. After hatching from their eggs, the nymphs spend several years underwater, feeding on other invertebrates, tadpoles, and even small fish. You probably know what I mean if you spent a lazy day by a lake. Dragonflies' flying abilities are so great that they're known to even migrate across seas. They can move in any direction, I mean. Yes, they can even fly backward and are capable of changing direction in an instant, almost pivoting on the spot. Their wings are so powerful that they have been recorded flying up to speeds of 36 to 54 kilometers per hour. 
There are old reports of an Australian species called the southern giant darner, reaching speeds of up to 97 km per hour. Although these reports aren't held to be true as the speed has not been recorded since 1917. Adult dragonflies are predators living off an almost exclusively carnivorous diet based on other insects such as mosquitoes, flies, moths, as well as smaller dragonflies. Thanks to their speed and agility in flight, they catch their prey with their feet while airborne. The efficiency of dragonflies' hunting ability is one of their most remarkable traits though, as they are able to catch up to 95% of all prey they choose to hunt. When they do catch something, they immobilize it by biting its head. They then usually perch somewhere and enjoy their meal on the spot, but they can also eat while on the move. Their incredibly powerful jaws make short work of their prey, most commonly starting head first. Just like the common housefly, dragonflies have compound eyes. This means that their eyes are actually made up of thousands upon thousands of individual lenses, all taking in information about the surrounding area. Dragonflies have up to 24,000 such lenses, which enable them to see nearly 360 degrees. Their only blind spot is directly behind them. Thanks to their incredible eyes, they're able to pick single insects out of a swarm, all the while taking care of their surroundings while flying at high speed. While dragonflies do need to warm themselves up to a certain point, they also need to make sure that they don't get too hot. One such tactic that certain species of dragonflies employ to beat the heat is called the obelisk pose. You may have even seen them doing it and wondered what they're doing. Well, wonder no more. A dragonfly will go into the obelisk pose by almost going into a handstand and sticking its abdomen high up into the air. This helps the dragonfly cool down a little by reducing the amount of sunlight hitting its body. The more you learn about dragonflies, the more you begin to marvel at them. They're the oldest insect, their vision and flight is unmatched, and they're pretty damn beautiful too. Given their extensive history on Earth and their incredible abilities, I wouldn't be surprised if they end up outliving most insects that we know today. Hey! This is Tony Adams from the Facts Channel. We have thousands of subscribers, and you can be a subscriber too. All you have to do is click the subscribe button, and while you're doing that, be sure to click the little bell. That way, any new content that gets uploaded, you don't miss it. You get notified about it immediately. So don't miss the things. We have new content, some things you're going to want to see, and see them when they come out not years later when they just might happen to randomly show up in your feed instantly by clicking the subscribe button and clicking the bell. So guys, thank you for watching this video and see you again in our next video. Bye!